Hey everyone, this is Beth Brown, your Osborne Book Lady. I'm going to take a few minutes to share with you some of our flap and interactive books. So let's get started. We have a lot. This is our Peek Inside series, and there are a lot of other titles in the series. First we have, um, this is the garden. We have the zoo, animal homes, uh, dinosaurs, nighttime. And I just love these books. They're for your early readers, because there's a small text-to-picture ratio. They're for preschoolers, because the flaps are really big and really sturdy. And the information is nonfiction, so they're getting um, great facts about things that they're interested in. So here are a bunch of different um, flaps on each page. There's that one, there's this one down here. And I just love the illustrations in this book. You know, Usborne has great um, illustrators, and we just make the best books ever. So that's the Peek Inside series. This is the lift, we have the Lift and Look uh, books. We have planes, trains, um, tractors, dinosaurs, and in each book you have to find a specific thing. So it's really one of those um, like spot books. And this is for, again, your, um, your preschoolers. So in this book you're going to be finding this blue bird. So on each two page spread there's a beautiful um, collection here of all of these flaps. Again, really sturdy. Really sturdy. And I know that because my son is a two year, two and a half year old, and he found out that he cannot rip these. And that makes me happy. <laughs> because he loves to rip things. So here is the bluebird in this page. But it just goes through the different kinds of planes and where they can land and things like that. So it's a cute book. Again, it's learning um, made fun. Here is colors. This is a um, lift the flap. We have another one that's opposites. And then we have one, too, that is a word book. And what we love about flaps at Usborne is that when you have a flap book, you can use it to actually reinforce learning. When the kids are actually lifting the flap to find the answer, it makes it so much more powerful and it stays in their brains a lot easier. That's why we love flat books. Plus they're fun too. So this is colors again. My son pretty much learned colors from this book. We would read it probably twice every day for a while there. Um, and he still likes to look at the pictures. So here's just the first page. And on every page there's a different activity to do. So here's like a zoo train and then it tells you, oh, who Who's the tall one in the blue car? So they have to find the blue car and look, lifts the flap and it's the giraffe. Again, finding the animal here, telling what color it is, and they have to find it. Oh, orange fox. This is my favorite page, um, second favorite page. I'll get to my favorite one in a second. But this is, you have to match the fish under here to the bow ties. So this is the red fish. So he, um, my son, would love to point out the different colors until he got to the red one. The red one. So that's a cute one, too. You have to find the cars here. This is my actual favorite page in this book. This teaches kids the concept of mixing colors. So right up here, here's a monkey, and he has a yellow can of paint, and this one has a blue can of paint. When you mix the, when you mix yellow and blue together, you get green. So again, my son loves this book. He knows all of his mixing colors because of this book. A great choice. And this is our general knowledge, and we have a few different ones too. We have one about animals, and we have one about dinosaurs. But right now, I just have the general one, and basically, it's it is broken down into different like categories. So here's trivia, and here's one about the world. Here's one about um, living things, science. But it has these questions, and then on the inside, it tells you the answers. Basically, what happened is when um, they created these books, they took questions that kids asked, and they got experts to answer them, and then they put it in a flat book, which is awesome. So here's entertainment, and so there's just a whole bunch of different flaps that they can do. There's like tons of flaps. Oh, it's up. So it's really great. 
There's a lot of information on here. There's a very, very high text-to-picture ratio, so it's for your older readers. Um, but preschoolers could definitely enjoy lifting the flaps. So, moving on to our interactive books, and these are some of my favorites that we offer. First, I'm going to talk about our Muddle and Match series. We have this one here is The Adventure, and then we have another one called Imagine with a girl main character. But then we have a few others with animals, and, and those are really cute. But basically, what I like about this book is when you open it, you have text on this page and then a picture on this page. However, what happens is you can mix the pages because each of the sections are different. So, what's cool about this is when the picture matches, the words match. And it really, really um, reinforces alliteration. All of the words start with C. And what I like about this book is that it has words in it that you wouldn't normally find in a book. So this one has calmly canters, cunning criminal, courageous, things like that. And then this, you know, Neville the Noble Knight, the sturdy, strange, spotty space slurper. So they're fun tongue twisters, but it's a really cute book um, for uh, pretty much anybody. This is my... Probably one of my favorite Usborne books that we offer. Actually, it's a Kane Miller book, um, but I love it so much. It's called All Better. And what it does is you have these reusable sticker band-aids, and the different animals throughout the book get hurt. And so it says, kiss it. you got to clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it. All better. So it helps with kids who are kind of afraid of cleaning boo-boos or if they get a boo-boo wearing a, a Band-Aid. You know, it's a good book to kind of um, show them that it's okay to wear Band-Aids because the animals and all better wearing Band-Aids. I love, love, love this book. Next we have our noisy books. We have a lot of them. I have two here. I have Noisy Castle and Noisy Diggers. But basically, we have great quality um, sound coming out of these speakers. So check it out. Some of the um, like the noisy books that you get at the store, sometimes they're really muffled and they don't make a lot of sense. Um, but these are so great because it tells you on each page at the top here what button to push. And it's just really fun for the kids to do. And they're great quality. The battery lasts a long time. So I'm a really big fan of our noisy books. Next is our Who's Ready to Play book. I love this book. It's so cute. So what happens in this book is that on each page, you have a bunch of animals. And they're the same order on every page, except at the top here, there's a question. And it will say, um... This one says, who's upside down? So you have to look, and you have to find who's upside down. Well, the monkey's upside down. On the next page, there's another question. Who swapped places? So now you have to kind of remember where the animals were, or you can go and uh, reference on the previous pages who swapped places. It's just a really, really cute book. Each page is a different question. But it really gets kids thinking about answers to questions. So when you're asked a question, there is a specific answer. And so it just kind of helps with um, with learning that there are questions to answer. Again, really cute book. A lot of fun. Next we have our Where's Will. I like this book a lot because it is uh, for older kids, yes. But in the beginning... Let me see if I can do this here. In the beginning here, it talks about, about the book, and then it says the plays. So each, it's like a Where's Waldo book, okay? So each play has a Where's Waldo, only you're finding Will Shakespeare. But in the beginning, it says, you know, as you like it. So this is the play, as you like it. And then it has a lot of information about the play, the characters up top. And then here's the thing. Julius Caesar. So here are the characters up here, a little bit about the play, and then you do the um, the finding of Will. And it goes through all of his different plays that he has. So you learn a lot about Shakespeare and you have fun. So that is really cool. And last, our Pullback Busy Book. We also have some wind-up books like this, too. 
Um, but I'm just going to show you the busy book. So it'll come like this, and it comes in a little, you know, the wind-up or the pull-back toy comes in a little plastic case. And basically, there are tracks, there you go, there are tracks on each page. Let me see if I can do this here. You have to keep it even, or else it kind of gets um, caught up. So you start here. And then you let it go. It's so fun. And again, as you're going through the um, through the little road here, it has words. So you're actually learning and reading what it's doing. So right up here it says, the busy bug wiggles past the buzzing bees. So it'll go past the buzzing bees. And then it'll just keep going on its routine. It's so much fun, and there are a lot of different um, maps that you can do, again, with lots of great information. And then when you're done, you put the thing back in the hole, and then you cover it back up with your plastic covering to keep it safe. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, these were our Flap and Interactive books. Have a great day. Bye.